Hey, this is Lewis Porter Jr. And I'm doing a bunch of things. So I'm going to be getting up and down while I do a bunch of things. Since I'm cleaning up my room since it's 6.39 in the morning. And I'm trying to get stuff together before I go to work. Ugh. Speaking of. But before I do that, yeah, I got my copy. And I'll just say, I play monks. So you all are done. Just done. Just accept the ass kicking I'm going to give you. That's all I'm going to say. Um, it's ridiculously great. It's got everything I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all I know is I'm going to be ugh, kicking guys around from now to doomsday just for just for show off. I'm just going to show off. That's it. So if you haven't got your copy of Ultimate Combat yet, get ready because you are about to receive a foot in the tuchus. And I don't mean tooks. Uh, what other cool things are happening? Uh, take this out of my bag because I'm tired of reading this. Um, I have or I had something to show you from my friends at Gamer Ingenuity. But they sent me. They sent me their newest project, but for some reason I printed it out and now I can't find it. It could be because my office is a freaking mess. And I'm a slob. Degree program. They want me to pay them 40 grand for my master's. That's on my weight project. Uh, what other fun stuff? No, I can't find the stuff that I printed out for them. And I wanted to show you because it's actually kind of cool. Because they're doing the boosted bestiary. And they have another secret project. And I'm not supposed to show you the secret project. See, this is the secret project. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay, that's all I can show you. Can't tell you what that is. Now, this is, oh, this is the piece he's working on. This is a rough draft from back in the day. See, look at that. Ooh, wrong way, genius. Wrong way, genius. Oh, look at that. Oh, now these stats aren't right, so don't get excited by them. Because they're not totally right. But, the premise is pretty damn cool. I mean, I can't deny it. I mean, bam. If I could find the Blink Dog ones he sent me, because I don't want to print them out again, because i got an inkjet printer, and all it does is suck ink out of, out of my life. And why is that? Why is it the freaking printer ink cost more than anything else I've ever dealt with? I mean, I can buy a pen for like 15 cents, but printer ink's like $10,000 per ounce. I'm like, who, who thought of that math? And why hasn't someone come up with something to defeat that? I tell you, I pay, I pay good money for that. You know, Jesus almighty. Printer ink costs, like, ridiculous amounts of money. And you don't even get really what it's worth. Crap, I just saw something that I should have been paying more attention to. Okay. So this is my, like I said, early morning, get stuff done, time. Like right now I'm working on the cover for our new can of Caravan book we're doing. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the name they're going to stick with, so I'm not going to call anything to call it our Caravan book. So, that's about it. What other cool and interesting things are going on? Um, well, JP is at a convention in, I believe, Idaho. Let me get the exact name. I'm gonna mess, I'm gonna, I don't want to mess, I messed up his last name, so I don't need to mess up where he's going. He's going to be at Fandemonium. Ooh, I like that name. Fandemonium 11, August 5th through 7th, and that's in Idaho. And he's going to be there. So now... I guess he's going to be driving out there. It's all the way to Boise. I've never been to Boise. I know nothing about Boise. I'm East Coast guy, you know, you know, East Coast baby. You know that. That's where I'm at. So I don't know. Some people like it. I haven't been, so I can't tell you anything about it. But he's going to be going there. He's going to be running some Pathfinder. Apparently, they have a big Pathfinder following out there. And I'm all about promoting people with big path on their phones. He's also going to be writing some Neo Exodus. Oh, good lord. So, you'll see some more crazy stuff he's working on with JPS issues. And I usually devolve crazy ideas he gives me and goes, we should try this. And I go back at him and go, I think that's a crazy idea. We should definitely try it. So, there you go with that stuff. One other interesting things. Oh, yeah, I was just working on the cover. So, I'm doing that right now. But I'm, uh, Facebook, hey, 
Some of you keep coming to Facebook, but you don't want to be my friend. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, I need some friends. I'd like some friends on Facebook. That's not a bad thing to ask for. Why can't a brother get some friends? I mean, damn. I'm not asking for money or anything, but that's for some friends. Um, what are the, 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 look at this. Look what's at, I mean, look. This is tells you how ridiculous my office is. Next to me, I'm just pulling this a pile of stuff next to me. Ultimate Combat. The new DC Universe book. An old copy of Wired Magazine. Um, a super old copy of Empire. I don't even know where I got this from. I really don't even know. A bill from Quest Diagnostics where they did my blood test. A calculator. Dungeon Magazine. Da -da 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 -da. 139 from October 2006. And look, I got things flagged in it. So, I mean, something's important. Let's see what we flagged in here. Let me see if I can actually remember what I was supposed to be flagging. Oh, it's a map. There must be something about this map that I like. I don't even know what it's about. I just said map. Um, my HOA important stuff that I do that I'm part of. There. Another Dungeon Magazine. This is from March 2000. 7, issue 144. I flagged a couple things. Uh, more maps I'm flagging, apparently. I'm, I'm going to do a map flagging phase, I guess. Um, what's this? A big, huge map I'm flagged. Um, no, not that horrible comment. And another map. See? I must have been some kind of map dangling thing. <laughs> a War King comic book series, which is from... What, 2000-something? 2008, 2006, 2000, 2009. Wow. Boom. Big-ass notepad. Ugh. Move some stuff around. See what else I can pull off the ground. Ugh. The Origins Game Fair magazine. Money magazine. The Origins Game Fair book. Fast Company. Ink. Ink. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Ink Magazine. Previews with the whole new Super DC revamp. We can't call it revamp. Whatever. Same notepad. No, no, it's another notepad. I just really oh my god. And two copies of previews. Uh, put this stuff I got around me. Uh, another big quest bill. Um, some stuff, another notepad. An old copy of Race Station Cookbook. The old school one. Old school three five. <laughs> cool. And I mean that's just that's just what's around me right now. And I'm fussing around just hanging out doing. That's what I'm doing. Oh man. Exile comic book. And a big ass copy. Empty team mug. Flyers for Target saving some money. Black Enterprise Magazine. Dragon Magazine. Got nothing tagged in this, so it couldn't be that important. Um, August 2007. And the one I really always liked that going back to, Dungeon Magazine, 30 Greatest Adventures of All Time. Some of them, I was like, whatever. But some of them were like, yeah, that's a good idea. I always have this near me. I don't know why. It's like a security blanket or something. So, that's what's going on. We're just doing work, getting stuff done. Um, we've hired some more artists, well, not really more, but they're regular guy artists to do some work for us. We're doing some simple, simple, simple art, and we're doing some complex stuff. Some more character designs, as always. We are doing more half-page pictures. We hired uh, several new writers doing um, legendary weapon stuff for us for New Exodus, and that's going pretty well. We have one, two, three, four, five, six... 
six. Six weapons done. We're talking like you know, 750 words, roughly. And we've done six of those. We have four more. Somebody's working on it. Another guy's working on another two. So they're just doing them and we're putting them together and probably going to do a big book. I just sent off the information to our caravan book to Chris Fields, who's worked with us before. Chris has worked with me for years and years. Did a lot of D20 modern stuff with me. Now he's moved over and doing more Pathfinder stuff. Um, Other Verses is company. I'm sure you've probably seen some of his um, books. Uh, Furry Sona, his little book on furries. That freaks me out, I can't lie. That book freaks me out. But whatever. So we've got him doing that. And um, that's about it. Um, this weekend, this week I'm supposed to be looking at freelance contracts, but I don't even know if I'm going to be doing that. But i got to go get an oil change. Do a bunch of stuff. Do a lot of reading in this Ultimate Combat. Let me tell you. I took ten seconds in this book. When I first picked it up, I was like, okay. And now I'm just flipping through the cool things I like. And first of all, here's a, the here's a part that I really like the most. And Well, not the most, but it's in the it's in the top. It's, it's definitely interesting. Going through this book, and it got to the new weapon section. And all I kept saying on the weapon section that got me, like, not even excited, because that's not even the right word. Super excited, that's right, word. I kept looking at, you know, oh, look at new one. Oh, they got Bloodified Swords. That's great. Oh, Special Monk. Oh, we're going to do an Ajute. Oh, Monk. Oh, Monk. 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 All these weapons have Monk. That means I can use my Fury of Blows with. And I'm just like, oh. Oh, I don't even know how crazy this is. Because you gave me a nine section whip, which is probably one of my favorite Kung Fu weapons. It's simple, it's easy, and it's badass. That mother does blocking, distracting, monk, and trip. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me? I'm going to be nine section whipping you to death. I can't imagine all the cool stuff I'll be doing with that. I, I really can't. I can't imagine. But I'm going to have a great time figuring it out. I am going to whoop some ass. That's that's how I'm putting it. I, this book is full of just good stuff. I mean, okay. Let's go over the feet extravaganza they have. I mean, let's just pull some stuff out. Um, deadly finish. <laughs> Foes you knock out must make a fortune save or die. Dude, I don't know much about much, but that's, that's badass. I am going to hit you and you're dead. That's... Done. You're done. I've got you. Um, ooh. Prone shooter. Make no penalties for shooting while prone. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Jawbreaker. With a sexual stunning fist, you may cripple opponent's mouth. You know, that in itself has some really, really, really cool ideas. And they have bone breaker, which is deal strength or dex damage when using stunning fist. And then neck breaker may deal strength or dex damage while <laughs> to a pinned opponent. Uh, landing roll, if tripped, move five feet in immediate, <laughs> as an immediate action. Dude, are you kidding me? I mean, this thing is just... <sighs> I'm just going to say... Oh, I didn't see this one. Two-handed thrower. Gain strength bonus when using two hands to throw... Oh, are you kidding me? Gain strength bonus when using two hands to throw a one- or two-handed weapon. Hmm. I have a feeling... I'm going to be tossing things at people. That's just me. And, I mean, there's just a lot of great feats. You know, there's, there's grip feats. I'm like, eh. Style feats. Thank you. I'm just going to say... Mantis style, baby. All Mantis. It's 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 got a lot, a lot of good stuff in here. And I'm, I'm liking a lot of it. And, I mean, okay. I'm not going to get into the whole gunslinger argument. I'm like, look... People are going to say, well, I don't allow it. This is my quick quib on this. The rules exist. That's great. Now you don't have to worry about people going, she's I wish I had a gunslinger. Let me make my own rules and do something totally broken. There are actual rules for it. It's, it's official, and you don't have to use it. There are rules for ninjas. You don't have to worry about people making ninjas anymore. There are rules for samurai. You don't have to worry about people making samurai anymore. There's rules for it. That's my whole, I'm all for that. Let's make some solid rules. Let's build from that and then put on top. Um, with all that going on, where's my bag? Another notepad. I am like collecting notepads like I'm going out of style or something. Ugh. Got the newest print out 
of this caravan, I am digging these caravan rules. I mean, I, I, when I first picked them up, I thought they were cool. And the more and more I get into them, I like it even more. And like I said, Christopher's working on a whole project for this. And I sent him a bunch of cool ideas that I thought needed to be in here. So I think Chris is going to do a great job. We're talking, you know, probably a 20, maybe even a 30-page project. I just, I just can't wait. I just cannot wait. I think this is this is one of those projects that just got me excited. Um, what other stuff? What other stuff? Oh, thank you for everyone who's been buying debatable actions. I really enjoyed doing that on PDF. It's one of my it's it's a, something I think is kind of cool. I think a lot of people don't get the opportunity to do a lot of just you know non combat things. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I understand why combat is important. And I understand the people who love combat, but there's sometimes where you got to talk things out. Not every thing gets solved by the end of a sword, so that's why we built that, and that's why we built those rules. And I think a lot of people have been liking it. I guess I mean the sales have been pretty good. I I wish someone would review it. I mean you know if we, <coughs> excuse me if we've done something horrible, please let me know. I'd like to know. I mean I don't want to put out horrible stuff. Hmm. What other stuff is going on? Um, oh I can tell you. What's in my wish list of stuff I've got to buy? I've got Advanced Feats, um, Might of the Magus. I've got to buy that. Um, 15 Specific Weapons, Volume 1. I've got to buy that. Um, I, say, I just got Ultimate Combat, and Course and Book, and PDF. got that. Uh, is there anything else that I really have to buy? I don't think there's anything else I have to really have to buy. Oh. Here's some news we haven't announced. We, well, two pieces of news. I'm going to tell you, and both of them are going to be mites. I'm not going to tell you they're going to be real yet, but you'll know. Number one, we might be doing advertising and corporate quarterly. I'm still talking it over with the little folks at Open Design, and it looks, we're pretty close. I mean, we're like, you know, this this far away. And it's it's probably going to happen. That one's a, a, a pretty good definite. That's a, okay, yay. Well, now, God, now it's going to three. I just realized it. The number two thing was, it looks really good. I mean, it looks maybe this far away that we might be going to Neocon down in Vegas. Now, if anybody knows anything about me, I love Vegas, so it, it just might, we might just have to go just to go, but we might be going, so even better. Uh, the third thing, I've been, I talked about my blog, but I'll say it here too. I've been working with RPG Now on the print on demand side to make sure our books are ready to go. And one book's been approved, I haven't sent a rough draft home to me yet. I'm waiting for the other three to get done so I can send all four at the same time and we can go over them. And when I get them here, I'll show you what happened. I'll show you what's going on and you can see and see what they're worth. Um, I think if it works out really well, we will actually have, hold on to your horses, printed books available for sale at Neocon at our table. Oh, yeah, we might be getting a table. Like an actual... And if we go, we might be going with the guys from uh, Gamer Ingenuity so they might have their character cheap book that I can't seem to think where it is right now, even though I see it in my head. Where is it? Jesus, this is what happens you got a room full of mess. Well, whatever. So they might be coming with us. JP is probably going to be there too. So you're going to have the staff of LP Design with me and JP and you have the guys from Gamer Ingenuity. We're all going to be in Vegas, hopefully, if everything works out. So... We'll let you know if we're going to go. And if we're going to go, we're going to go big. We're going big. We're going big. I mean, I, I did the numbers. I crunched the numbers yesterday. Uh, what, how many books we plan to take. How much I will tell you how many we're taking. So you'll know if you're going to buy stuff that's going to be there. If not, you know, you're going to miss out. We're not. Look, I live in South Florida. Vegas is way over there. It's, well, your direction would be over here, but whatever. I can't bring a lot of stuff. can't bring a lot of stuff. So i got to think about what the good stuff we're going to bring. And we're bringing it. It's going to be great. JP will probably be speaking on some stuff. Most likely be playing some stuff. I'm going to be talking some trash. You're going to see me down at the craft table getting hot because that's the sport of kings. So it's going to be a fun, it's going to be a fun Vegas time. That's how I'm going to do it. It's going to be a fun Vegas time. Ah, damn it. See? And here are the PDFs. I'm looking the whole Blink Dog ones. <sighs> These are cool, too. I wish you'd see them. He's. I know he's giving these away for free, but... I shouldn't give this away for free just yet. Because I can't. But it's technically it's not mine to give away for free. I mean, you know, I know, I know he's giving it away for free. These are the rough drafts. There are mistakes with this. This is more of a layout version, so you guys can just take a look. So, But maybe I might put these on my website. i got to talk to Brian, see what he says. But Brian's at Gen Con, so you won't see these at least till Monday. So, you know, hold your horses. Don't get too excited. 
that's about it. Okay. Well, I'm getting out of here because I gotta go to work. It's seven o'clock now. I gotta eat some breakfast. Thank you so much for listening to my ramblings, and maybe I clean up my office this week, but I don't think I will. Talk to you later. <laughs>